Have you ever wondered why you should have a smart weather station? Or you're watching this thinking, what is a smart weather station? Well, stick around, we're going to dive into the crazy world of smart weather stations. And I'm going to show you three automations to get you started. Welcome back to Future Smart Home. My name is Ben, and this channel is all about simplifying your life with smart home technology. To start, let's talk about why you might need a home weather station. Have you ever heard of the term microclimate? When I first hear microclimate, I immediately think of mountain valleys with dramatically different weather. But it's not just mountain valleys. You might be living in a microclimate as well. I've found that our home is at least five degrees cooler than what the National Weather Service says it should be. Now, this isn't a huge difference, but sometimes it can be a meaningful difference. And with a home weather station, you don't have to rely on generic forecasts. The weather forecast is your personal forecast. So if you do think you need a weather station, there's three brands to look into, Natatmo, Ecowit, and Tempest. I'll leave links in the description below, but for my weather station, I chose the Tempest, which you can see right here. I chose this device because of the lack of moving parts, and so far I have zero regrets. Because this device is solar powered, there's no wires to run, so installation was super easy. You just plug in the hub and then data starts flowing to your smart home. I'm using MQTT, which is a type of protocol that talks to Home Assistant, which I'm using for my smart home. There is so much data. All right, let's talk about the exciting part, automations. Number one, using the Tempest's brightness or Lux reading, my home can tell when it is dark around the house. That allows it to automatically turn on the lights in some of the darker rooms. And if it's a cloudy day, the lights go on a bit earlier in the house. It's easy and really simple to set up and a lot better than having individual sensors throughout the rooms in your house. For the second automation, I'm using the built-in precipitation sensor, as well as the temperature, humidity, and dew point sensors. With this data, I don't have to second guess whether I should open or close the windows. If the weather is nice and the windows are closed, my home sends me a notification to open them and to turn off the AC. This takes the guesswork out of opening the windows. And if the weather is bad or humidity is on the rise or the temps are falling, my home will send other notifications as well. It's a bit more complicated to set up with these various notifications, but it makes a huge difference not having to really think about it. And now for something totally cool that literally blew the minds of my kids the first time we did this. So I took all of the weather data coming from my Tempest including the forecast for today, and I sent it all up to ChatGPT. My home then asked ChatGPT to put together a daily forecast as if ChatGPT was a children's weather forecaster. That text is converted to audio and plays on our smart displays in the kitchen. It's your friendly weather forecaster here, ready to give you the scoop on the weather. Let's start with the current conditions. It's a lovely day outside with a temperature of 61 degrees. How wild is that? My kids love it. I'm just a little bit worried they're gonna start telling their teachers about the weather person that lives inside their house that isn't their mom or dad, but that's for another day. So there you have it. Three easy smart home weather station automations that can make your life easier and more enjoyable. This is a brand new channel, so if you found this video interesting, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments. And check out my recent video on how I turned my dishwasher into the smartest dishwasher ever. Have a great day and I'll see you in the future.